Welcome back guys. In this episode we are going to build ourselves a tank. An aluminium tank in 3mm aluminium with brackets that holds it in place. The tank itself with the pump and the electronics and everything inside. With the vent, with the, with the part for the gauges as well. And mounted into the car like this. As you can see here, I don't have the screws here right now, but that's just because I need to show, video this. So guys, if you want to know how to build a tank, or more importantly, if you want to know how I build this tank from start to end, don't forget to watch this video now. And before you start, I can see that many of you guys aren't subscribers, so don't forget to press the subscribe button and the bell notification button as well. So let's get going. I'm here using my paper template to mark everything out on the 3mm aluminium plate. Cross-checking so everything actually aligns properly. A lot of cutting, but I'm using the steering candle you, that you can see in the image here, and that does wonder when it comes to cutting aluminium with a normal steel cutting disc. A quick test fit to make sure that everything aligns as I want it to. Clamping them all together so I can make sure that they all have the exact same size. Cutting the corners so the gasoline has somewhere to go.
always cleaning up the wells afterwards. It's now time to make the pieces for the gauge and the pump itself. This piece is going to sit on the underside and that's basically because I want 6mm to actually thread into instead. So I'm now marking on the top plate where the hole should go. I'm now marking out where all the holes goes for the screws that will hold this together. And while I have this hole I'm test fitting or at least checking the height of the meter itself because that of course is not going in here it's going on the other side.
And same here, I want the extra thickness to actually thread into. I'm going to use countersink screws here to hold this plate into place where the pump and everything sits. And it takes some trial and error to get this actually to fit perfectly fine. From and to for the fuel tank itself and the electronic part to actually drive the pump is being installed. So this is basically where the tank or the pump will suck from and this is roughly one extra liter of area where the, the gasoline doesn't squawk back and forth.
brackets that will hold the tank in place in the frame, marking out where to bend, and also cutting out the actual rubber mat that will sit in between. Checking out where the pump will end up roughly and I will be mounting it with this aluminium bracket here I think including of course marking out where the valve for air in and out is where we're sitting.
And we have the pump and everything here. This is not fully assembled yet. We will do that in short. But we need something here to actually make this, yeah, so to say, good enough to hold all the gasoline inside. Unfortunately, I don't have the correct material here now, but I will cut this out just to make sure that we can pressure test this tank. The last part here is to test if this is actually welded good enough and it is solid and it doesn't leak. So I hooked the air up here and I tightened this seal here, hopefully good enough. The thing is when testing you should not test with high pressure like several bar. If you're going to do that you need and must fill the tank with the water. Today, in this first set I'm going to show you, I will be testing it at around 0.1, 0.2 bar or something like that. And if I test more, this plastic will break. So, what could potentially go wrong? Um, I'm guessing that the seals for those can leak, for the electric, and for the meter can leak. I have not even checked the meter if this is tight enough. So we'll see. So let's fill it up, uh, and I know that this one is leaking out a little bit here, so I need to fill it repeatedly, and we will have some soapy water here, and add it to it, and see if it bubbles anywhere. So let's start. And I can hear one leak, and it's over here, and I'm thinking this is the one. Uh, yep. So basically the meter itself with the screws is leaking, and that's because I have not tightened the screws and I have not actually added anything here because this is not done. Let's see if I can just tighten them slightly for now. It doesn't do any good right now, so we leave it. It can leak a little bit there, that's fine. So let's test everything. So it's just a matter of putting on some water everywhere. And this seal here is not fully put together. Now that I'm not really worried about the seals for this part here, I'm testing it with a little bit higher pressure, so it's fine.
And here, here you can see the screws is leaking as well. And that's as well, at the same time, I have not added anything to them. There is a leak in the end there, just because I most likely did some grinding there. So let's start marking them out. There's one. The tank is now in the car. The pressure test went well. I had a couple of small, small, small holes and I weren't surprised of that. It was like in the edges where I had oxide and crap in a way when welding. And that's what happens when you do that. And then I had one where I actually grind off too much. With that said, of course, this one here isn't really good and this one here is also leaking a little bit because that's because I haven't actually um, made sure that the screws itself are tight. I'm going to do that a little bit later on when I permanently mount this. I also have this fill cap here added and I'm pretty happy with it. So if we go over what is it that we did? We did build this tank so it fits nicely in the back here. Bracelets like this one here, uh, nothing special with that, with some um, rubber alongside with it. I have this uh, ventilation valve here that also acts as a turnover valve, so if you t flip the car over, the c gasoline won't zipper out. This will be hooked up to some other parts that I'm not going to deal in this video. So, I think that's it actually. I'm pretty happy with this construction. And this is more than enough done for the first part where you need to examine the car. So I will leave it there I think and hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give me a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe and like and if you have any comments feel free to put them down below. And see you next time. Thank you and bye.